Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, today's kind of a slower day because it's supposed to hit 100 today and it's September. Hard to believe. So today's mission is to play ghost <laughs> Ghostbuster. So I have a uh, five gallon pack uh, that we use for weed killer. Now the only place we use weed killer is on flower beds and the driveway. And uh, the reason being is we're going to put that new mulch that we saw in yesterday's video into these uh, beautiful gardens that Sherry's worked so hard to clean up. But the grass is so aggressive it's got to be sprayed. So I'm going to spray those today. But today I want to talk to you about something unusual. And it's called thorn arthritis. <laughs> yeah. And yes, I didn't know what it was either. So, you guys saw us chopping up these uh, fig trees. And we got one more pile left right here. Well, these fig trees have got, in fact, I can show you, I'll show you on this one, have thorns. Right here, here. All, all over, concentrated all over. So, yesterday, uh, I've been stuck by them before, and it makes your hands sore, but I had one go into this hand, quite deep, uh, right there. And uh, it gives you a, what they call thorn arthritis. Look it up, under fig tree, thorns, and uh, anyway, the effects. Oh my gosh, talk about painful. Um, so I got punctured right below the middle finger. The whole middle finger is in, uh, uh, inflamed and sore to move. I can hardly grip, I mean, I can move my hand and stuff, but wow, talk about wham. <laughs> sure, he's like, you're such a weenie. And then I had a small puncture on my other hand and just one of the fingers is sore. It does something to your joints and, uh, didn't know. I didn't really want to know either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, word of warning when you're dealing with fruits or trees with thorns, uh, wear tough gloves. I mean, we wore gloves, but uh, man, the pain that I'm going through, and it was hard to sleep too. Um, not cool. <laughs> Just not cool at all. So, uh, we still got that other pile to do. Uh, and the wood cheaper and uh oh the other thing I was going to show you and uh hopefully I don't poke myself anymore so I got to go back to the garden here coming up on the garden right here and you should be able to see my big tire tracks <laughs> so uh I'm going to even with this hand try to run the rototiller to get that all mixed up again and then I was gonna fiddle around a little bit more the sun's in a funny spot for this area uh, what I want to do with this area in the future is put a wide spreading leaved tree uh, plants like uh, cucumbers zucchini um, squashes that spread out and we'll let them go hog wild in here and uh, uh, so I've got to churn this up too I don't know if I can hold on to a rototiller today uh, very well but I'm gonna certainly give it a try but I think we're gonna kind of go easy today because in two days to see today's Friday two days I don't want to be too old beat up we actually are getting baptized and I've already been baptized as a kid, so I'm doing a reaffirming. And so I'm excited. And Sherry has never been baptized. She's very excited. So I'm um, big kudos to her. Really special thing for our family. But until then, I've still got work to do. So it's time to do my Ghostbuster impression. And let's do some... Uh, Spring for weeds and grass is what we're going to use. 
And once again, we only do that on the flowers and these massive driveways I got. Uh, there goes the mouse. <laughs> I got more mice around here. Anyway, let me get my uh, my uh, Ghostbuster outfit on and let's get to work. So this is my Ghostbuster pack. And this is the weed and grass killer. Uh, works really good. Uh, seems to be nice to all the other plants. But definitely will knock down. It takes quite a few days for it to kick in. But uh, it definitely will thin out your weeds and, and grass. And uh, is uh, kind to the flowers. So let's get this thing mixed up. It's a concentrated thing. so And this is actually very heavy when it gets full of water. So uh, let's let's get this done. All right, guys, I got my Ghostbuster outfit on. I'm gonna start spraying the yard. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you to death with that, but uh, needs to be done before we put the uh, mulch down. So time to hit the hit the property. It's hot already. So anyway, should be fun with the sore arm. Well, folks, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, hand is killing me. Um, I did get the spraying all done. Uh, however, I wanted to show you that, yes, believe it or not, these things produce uh, tomatoes. This guy is coming off right now. Let's see if I can do this in one, one hand. A beautiful little tomato. Uh, Sherry and I uh, already ate some of these. And uh, they were delicious, just delicious. I got kind of funny looking one growing here. Uh, that's almost right. I think it will be a... Uh, edible and we got plenty more getting ready to uh, ripen here so it's kind of funny I pretty sure nature knows to quit producing more tomatoes because I don't see any new ones coming so uh, hopefully these will ripen before it gets too cold and uh, they're delicious to eat just cut them up in salt and pepper yum so guys have a great day thanks for watching please please subscribe Please like and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We appreciate it. Till next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.